more familiar with the DevOps concepts. I mean, like the kit and then uh, you know, all these things. How familiar? The how and how much you need to write yourself in one to five. I can read about the three point five. Three point five. So, um, how did any projects? Three. Three. Uh, could you please explain me the second project? It's a secure uh, CACD pipeline, which is pet shop. Mm -hmm. mm. So, uh, first, uh, uh, we'll take code from the GitHub. Okay. And uh, then uh, from the Jenkins, it will clone the code from uh, GitHub okay. using checkout. And um, from there on, uh, using Marvin, uh, uh, tool. Build tool, uh, we used to uh, compile that uh, code using Marvin uh, compile and uh, test that code using mapping test. After that, uh, code is uh, uh, given to its uh, sonar cube of a code quality analysis. Well, okay. Then, um, then you will do um, like that code, which is um, quality code, which will be compiled to package like artifact. Okay. And uh, that code will be um, uh, given to like a, it will be a uh, Dependency check, we yep. do the dependency okay. check. Okay. And then um, using Docker, so we'll build we the image. Okay. That image will be um, scanned by using TV. Okay. Once it is scanned, it will be pushed to Docker Hub or uh, ECR, which is a uh, container okay. service. Okay. And finally, we'll deploy it to, uh, this is uh, deployed to Tomcat actually, because it's, it doesn't have any database. Okay. So that's. We run to, okay. Perfect. So, what are the issues you face and while doing this project? Actually, I have uh, your video as a reference. So okay. I didn't face much of all difficulties while doing the project. Okay. Um, only because it's my laptop. Uh, there are few, but I all come in useful. Okay. Okay. What are the difference between uh, the revert and reset? Uh, Git re uh, revert is used to make changes in the uh, remote repository. Mm -hmm. Whereas reset uh, can move to uh, from local to working area, staging area, we use a Git reset. Okay. So, yeah, Git reset I can often solve okay. uh, from local repo to st uh, staging area. Okay. Um, Git uh, reset and I okay. send um, mixed um, uh, commit entity, okay. which we use to move from local or um, staging area to uh, like um, working area okay. and um, git reset um, hyphen hyphen hard, which we use to remove all the commits. Okay. okay. Um, thing is, uh, what is a reflog? Git reflog, um, it is like a commit history. Mm -hmm. By using this, we can um, recover every, any lost commits or branches. Okay. And this thing is static? Stash, it is for temporary storage. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we have any important work to attend and we are in, um, currently doing any uh, code or something, okay. we can temporarily store that code in that. Uh, okay. So, so how familiar with the Maven? Maven is a build tool. Okay. And uh, here we have important cases like um, Maven validate, okay. Maven compile, okay. Maven test, mm -hmm. Maven package, and okay. Maven ping. Okay. So what is Paul? It's a project object model. Okay. Now uh, it's an XML file. Uh, usually it contains information regarding the project and also um, configuration information like uh, source directory and uh, libraries. Okay. All the information okay. will be stored in the form.xml file. Okay. But we uh, use uh, like a Marvin. Uh, it will read that form.xml file and execute the goals it has. Okay, next. Um, what is what CACD tool you are using in, uh, well, uh, in DevOps? CACD tools. So. So, what is the importance of Jenkins in uh, DevOps? It is a, it's like main thing in DevOps where continuous integration, continuous uh, development process so can be implemented. Uh, the main purpose is to automate the build, test, and deployment uh, process okay. of an application. How did, what is thing with thin backup? Thin backup, uh, we can uh, backup the Jenkins file using thin backup okay. plugin. Mm -hmm. Jenkins server. Okay. In Jenkins, we have a go to manage Jenkins section, and there have to give uh, plugins like thing backup plugin, and we have to give backup options, um, and then we'll get the backup of the Jenkins server by using this uh, thing backup. The thing backup. Why we use Sonar Cube? What is the major difference between Sonar Cube and then dependency check? Uh, Sonar Cube is like a, we get a, what are the bugs or vulnerabilities in the code. And obviously, there's like a uh, code quality. 
whereas uh, dependency check we will know vulnerabilities like uh, how critical they were like vulnerabilities like uh, high low low okay uh, we can get that information by using dependency check okay and next uh, how familiar are you with the dog under terraform i understand uh, this type of form on the to uh, manage uh, uh, cloud resources we use terraform as a infrastructure as a code okay. to and um, there we use uh, terraform in the terraform apply okay terraform plan so what are the major uh, blocks we have uh, in terraform first we have providers sure. okay what it is what are the major important uh, things we have in pro- provider section uh, usually uh, from where you are down it appears we will take this provider the okay um, but there are some very important uh, things we need to take from the dashboard right so what are those depends on the uh, thing we are doing with access key secret and access key we told that can we run the terraform plan you know so do that on it yes um what is workspace like where we are working workspace terraform workspace no idea I have an idea like workspace is like where we work we write code and so that is not the I mean terraform workspace is different this workspace is different that's fine Would you please write a sample uh, Docker client? Let's clear away. So, uh, if you want to be uh, in our Docker file, first we have to specify that uh, this is uh, definitely, I mean, we have to use this from Dynamic Tool. It sets as a base image, and um, where is the able, um, It will help us to organize the uh, image. Okay. What does it mean? And uh, running code like when we are building the image, uh, we can update. Okay. So, and uh, by using command run. Okay. And uh, here env add means uh, it is a uh, default variables and okay. only variables. Okay. Where I'm sending it as a big huge solutions. Okay. And uh, here I'm giving entry point which cannot be overrun, uh, which is a uh, welcome to big huge. We can okay fine. So I want to build an image on your name. So what is the command to do that? Build an image Docker. Okay. Build. Um, Alfenti Shavn. Okay. Um, what is Docker volume? Docker volume. Uh, it's um uh, storage for containers. Okay. Um, how it is useful um to preserve the data? Even when we remove the container, uh. the data will be stored in volumes okay so how to remove all the uh, running containers with a single command docker rm okay docker rm uh, donor okay docker of things i send me i send king i send as okay remove could you please explain the docker architecture Docker architecture is a client and server architecture. Okay. Where we have the uh, we get the client and daemon, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, whenever we are searching for an image, that the uh, client which is there in the um, API server, which is the client, then the uh, communicate with the uh, daemon client daemon, I mean daemon, and uh, if the image is available, it will give uh, the image. If not, it will go to hub dot docker dot com. to fetch that image uh, from docker docker hub uh you're good with the docker part until but you know um, take care of the kubernetes part and then uh, uh the own um, prometheus and graph and the monitoring part and then terraform part okay.